Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a review unboxing for you today of a new laser cutter that I did receive and it was sent to me for free. I want to put that out there right now. But as always, the reviews and the opinions are my own. So what this is, it is the Orter Aufero, A-U-F-E-R-O Laser 2. So they have a Laser 1 and they have a Laser Pro, and this is in between the two. Um, I will tell you all the specs when I give you a little demo of it running. All right, guys, this is the Ofero 2. Um, the laser that I have is the LU2-4SF, standing for Short Focus Laser Module. This is in real time. I am not speeding this up. This one goes pretty quick. The speed is from 0 to 10,000 millimeters per second. Now your engraving area is 390 millimeters by 390 millimeters. Uh, the wavelength is 445 plus 5 millimeter. The focus is a fixed focus. Um, the control model is PWM and the power rate is 50 to 51,000. Um, the materials, like I said, is cardboard, non-woven fabric, leather. It can cut through 6 millimeter plywood, 10 millimeter pine wood, and some plastics. I will tell you this is fast. Um, compared to the X-Tool D1 that I have, this goes much quicker. Um, so I hope this is something you're looking for. And if you are, there is a link in the description box to take you to the product. Okay. So this is a laser printer. Price point wise, I will tell you this is much less expensive than the X tool. And I did find that the engraving was very similar. I think that this has some pros and cons to both, but I think that if you're a newbie and you wanna get started, this might be the machine for you. Um, it is right now on sale for $369, and I believe the regular price is $469. So right there is a huge savings. Um, Frame-wise, it's set up very similar to the X tool. Uh, to put it together was a lot easier though, I will tell you that. The majority of it was put together I just had to plug in a few cables and attach a few screws, and there is a video that you can watch that goes over all that with you. Uh, the other thing I do like about this is on this axis here, there are millimeter measurements so that you can, you know, line things up nicely. Um, to set the to set the height your burning height you get this piece of plexiglass and it is the exact measurement that you need for the laser to be away from your product when you're burning so that's handy and even has a little hole you could probably just throw a keychain on it or a chain of some sort and it goes under here under the laser and then this laser does raise up and down and that's how you set the laser now what can this thing cut it can cut a whole heck of a lot um, in the package, you get a piece of like plastic. It can engrave on that. Um, basswood, acrylic. You just have to kind of research and find out the different settings. Um, and then you get a larger package I received. So this is also basswood. It can burn on. It can engrave on MDF board, which is interesting. I never thought of that. So you get some MDF board as well. And I'll show you what it looks like. Um, you also ouch, got some metal here and leather. It does burn on leather. I did burn the leather and it was funny because it smelled like hair burning, which duh, it is. And then some woven fabric or non-woven, non-woven fabric. So you want a tight weave and it can cut through this, but it does need to be non-woven. So those are your basic materials. And then I have some samples to show you of what it looks like so i burned this and it's just i i use the same picture on all the different material now i did a framing and i think i shouldn't have because i can see the outline of the framing but yeah so i burned that and this was very simple let me back up a second so it comes 
obviously with this laser. And then in the direction book, there's a website you go to and it links you to a couple programs. Um, if you have a PC, there's a program and then there's Lightburn if you have a MacBook. The Lightburn I found a little challenging as a beginner, um, but the if you have a uh, Windows-based product, there's a couple programs that you can use that do talk to the laser. Now I found, like I said, I'm pretty new to all of this and I was able to get it working, but Lightroom is, or Lightburn is just a little advanced for me. But, so that's what it looks like what I did. Here's a picture that they did, and this is a different type of leather. Uh, this one is a little firmer, but you get that clean burn and it's very clean, which is nice. And then I did just a little picture here and look how crisp that is. So I will tell you, this is very equivalent. This is what I use my X tool and this I burned on this. And I'm telling you, it's a very, it, it was very similar, very compatible. This is just less expensive. So, it, and you'll have to determine that for yourself. Um, and again, if you want to burn on this MDF. Now I burned with the X tool here. Now it's a similar quality. It's just a, a lot of dark on this background, but this is what it looks like if you have a light or if you pull this picture out and you remove the background for the most part, this is what you're gonna get. Look how clean and crisp that is as well. And again, I enlarged the picture and I liked, I did a little, um, less of a burn on this to try to give it more of like a almost a watercolor effect to it and then on the back here I made a mistake and about burned through so there's that obviously with any type of device like this it comes with goggles I don't know where my goggles are but it comes with goggles you have to take precautions you need to research you do not want to do this in an enclosed area you are burning wood and you are burning through um, materials. So you want to make sure you have plenty of ventilation. I typically, if I'm running it up here, um, just for testing purposes, I open a window. I had two fans going. We were perfectly safe. Um, to use it long term, I'm putting it in my garage on a table and I can open the, my garage door and let it vent. And they also sell separately um, boxes that you can put them in with ventilation. The one thing I found um, also this versus the X tool, because these are the only two I've ever used. This is much quieter when you turn it on. The X tool has a very large fan that's loud, if that's important to you. Hope you enjoyed, and I will talk with you later. Bye.